So, Bally, well done. First win Thank of you. 2011. Just talk about the match and, and how you felt you played. Um, well, obviously, when the draw came out and I saw that I'm playing Tyler Sagan, um, so I've played her quite a few times before. Um, beat her once quite a few years ago, but I lost to her um, quite easily twice in the last two years. Um, so I knew it was going to be really difficult. She's obviously back up there again. She's in the 60s, so, um, so I knew that she'd done really well at the end of the year. I know she won a WTA, so I knew it was going to be a very difficult match. Um, but I was really prepared for it. I knew um, that I'd have to re be really aggressive um, and really kind of take the match to her, which I managed to do that. Um, I was really happy with the way I played. I mean, obviously the first match of the year, you know, having not played a match in about two months, um, you know, it's uh, it, it's always quite difficult. But I managed that very well, and you know, I was uh, very confident, and um, you know, I really enjoyed the battle, um, and I was just really delighted that I managed to win. Is there an element of, of relief as well, getting that first one out of the way? Do you feel like, right, 2011, we're off and running now? Of course. I mean, it always helps when you do well at the beginning of the year. Um, I did that last year as well. I came out to Oz and I qualified both both tournaments and obviously made the third round of Australia. So it always does help. Um, but this year I feel that, you know, starting the year at 55 um, is fantastic. And that's kind of given me a lot of confidence coming into this week. Um, and I think I've really used that well today in the match. You've got uh, Roberta Vinci next. She's, she's going to be an awkward customer. Are you looking forward to that? Yeah, I'm really, really looking forward to that. I've never played Vinci before. Uh, she's very awkward. She's got a very kind of smart game plan um, on paper. Well, actually, not just on paper, but I have nothing to lose. She's a much higher ranked player than what I am. Um, she's a very good player. and. Um, you know, it's always nicer playing when you're not expected to win because it means that you can go out, you can relax and really play your game and you know, hopefully I'll be able to do that tomorrow. But it's not going to be easy, but it's all really good prep going into Melbourne, going into the Aussie Open and that's what I really want.